My favorite move of yours of all time, by the way, because I had never seen it before, and you can't do it anymore, but I did it a couple times myself when times were rough there, was going into the department store, picking up a couple of comforters, walking up to the counter and saying, I'd like to return these. And they'd be like, great. And you're like, we can't give you cash, but I'll take store credit. And you're like, fine. Fine. (laughs) There's something here I can find for a buck (laughs) sixty. That was always my absolute. I was like, wait, and they just give it to you, and you're like, yeah, they won't give you cash because you don't have a receipt. From the that was my open micer. That was the uh, hustle. You know, everybody has like, you got a developmental deal. That was my developmental deal. Was I just figured out when I left New York in October of '93, and I went to back to Boulder? I'm like, how am I gonna make a living? I could sell cars, but the debt I was in was so overwhelming. The debt was just coming in by the thousands. I had an attorney. When you have an attorney oh, on the right. clock, you're dropping four a fucking week. I would drop off, too. And the guy's like, oh, by the way, here's your next bill. You know, copies, whatever. Fucking, he would charge me for everything. Right. Phone calls with 250 a phone call. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a nightmare. So I couldn't make a fucking living. So everything I made got taken from me. And I don't even know how I, I think I was somewhere one day, I bought something and I returned two things and I'm like, come on. And it was the old Boulder Mall, they had a May DNF. And I, and I would go in there and pick up $249 comforters. <laughs> yeah, that, the comforter was the move. Bring them back. And, like, <laughs> what do you, and then I figured out, oh shit. So I avoided the places that gave you checks. If people, or store credit. I avoided them unless I needed a suit or something. Then I took the store credit. But there were people who just straight up gave you cash. And I got to be honest with you. You want me to lie to you? I can lie to you. From 93 October to June of 95. And even farther than that. Because I was doing it on the road. I was doing it on triple road. I got move. caught one time in Idaho on a dribble run. Returning some? Returning some. Oh, yeah. They let me go, but I fucking made a stink. Minority. <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> fucking O.J. <OJ> Simpson. <laughs> I'm like, out of all the places that figured me out, Idaho. Somebody was just watching you? They caught me from the beginning. As soon as I went in and took it, they were watching me. I don't know. I was like a poor... I, bro, the more spaghetti you throw against the wall, yeah. it's going to stick. Yeah. So I was getting cocky. Like, I was walking into a place at 9.30. Ah, wrong move. You're going to get nailed. There's nobody in the store. You got to wait till there's 100 people in the store. And you walk in there, you just mix right in. But I still... Let me tell you how fucking desperate I was. Because I don't... There's no reason for me to lie. There was a time to pay rent. Like, rent week. I would just hang outside. There was a payphone in Kmart and Boulder. And I would just make believe I was paying calls. And I would watch people throw away receipts. Mm-hmm. You know what an ambulance chaser is? Mm-hmm. I was an ambulance chaser thief receipt. So people that come out of a store, throw away the receipt. Four out of ten people. Yeah. I mean, a couple of white people take home their receipts. Remember, you couldn't get your fucking luggage back? You didn't save your receipts? <laughs> yeah. Nobody saves their receipts. Yeah. You know how many times I stood there and saw people come out like with a fucking... That is what I do with the receipt. Rotating something, and I see them throw away the receipt. And I'd pick up the receipt. Now I got you. Now I got you. I'd walk in like fucking... <laughs> whistle while you work. <laughs> Hitler is a jerk. You know, I just walk in now. Pick up the thing. And fucking walk up to the counter with the receipt. How you doing? I don't want this. You just bought it 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I just don't want it. I don't need it. <laughs> don't want it. You just bought this 10 <laughs> minutes ago. What time it came up. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> Kmart was the spot. And Kmart knew I was robbing them. In Boulder, I lived right across the street from it. So it was my to-go spot. So when came, I would get too hot, then I would start going to the mall. And it was like May DNF Radio Shack. I put them out of business. <laughs> I remember going into a Radio Shack in Boulder in 85. They had a CD player on the wall. 
I looked around. The salesman wouldn't talk to me. I was like, fuck it. I just unplugged it, <laughs> put the cord around it, and I walked out of the store. You have no idea. You have no... I wish I was lying to you. When I walked out of that mall, I'm like, my friends at home would not believe this. I just unplugged it. They were playing like Superman or something. I unplugged it. I took the valves off. I just walked out with the whole fucking apparatus. That's when I went crazy. Like, I'm like, I got, I remember R- Rogan going to me. He goes, I drove into Boulder and I could tell this place is like one huge candy store. It became one huge candy. They couldn't figure me out. I'm not That's proud of these crazy. things. That's why I don't go to Boulder. Because I totally disrespected Boulder. Like, totally. Like, just, I turned the, I, I, you know what my rent was in Boulder? 400 You know how I paid my rent September of 94? Hmm. I was waiting outside of the Kmart on the phone. It was rent day. It was the 31st of fucking August, guys. And I'm like, I've been waiting out there for like an hour and a half. Nobody's throwing a receipt away. I was just about ready to hang my hat down and get the fuck out of there. Because then I had, I used to have plans. Like plan A is Kmart. Plan B is I robbed this guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a big jump, man. <laughs> Oh, this is a good fun. <laughs> if you can smell a fart with a mask on, you did a good job. You know what I'm saying? Doug, I still remember needing 400 for the rent. This is unbelievable. And I'm waiting there. By the payphone, there was like three payphones. That was the same payphone I used when I turned myself in. I hung out on that. I knew it. the ins and outs. It was across the street from a Coco's restaurant in front of an Albertsons. I knew the whole layout. And to it. Six years earlier, I was on that same payphone torturing the cops because they couldn't put a tracer on me. So I kept calling the cops going, I want to talk to Detective Josh Wolf. And they're like, who's calling? I'm like, Jose Diaz. I'm like, hold on. Click. I'd hang up. <laughs> Where's Josh Wolf? <laughs> Who's this? Joe Diaz. Don't put me on hold. We're going to have to put you on hold. Click. Don't hang up. I would keep hanging up on him. And then finally they go, Joe Diaz, hold on. We'll put you on with Detective Cola. And he's like, where are you? I'll never forget this. Being on the phone with him at Kmart and looking at Coco's and Albertsons and going, I'm at the Albertsons on 28th Street if you want to talk to me. He's like, we'll be right there. Just two of us. Promise. We'll be right there. And I remember hanging up the phone and walking to my car and taking a newspaper and rolling the joint and watching the Albertsons and watching cop cars pull up from all fucking directions and them running in with their guns at the Albertsons and me going, ooh, I'm in trouble. Oh, 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 my God, I'm in fucking trouble. I had gone into town to get lethal weapon and above the law at the video store. And I go, you know what? My buddy George, I met him and at the Kmart. He goes, the cops are looking for you. They came by the dealership. He left his card if you want to call him. I'm like, I don't want to fucking call this guy. And I thought about it. I should call him and see what it was. But that was the exact same payphone where I called the cops and was toying with them. I'm like, I'll be at the Albertsons. I'll see you there. Wait, wait, wait. What are you driving? Click. <laughs> and I, within damn. minutes, I just saw cops pulling up from all directions into the Albertsons, running in. So I need four hundred dollars to pay the rent. I'm standing on that payphone and I'm staring at that cocos and I'm like, I'm about to fucking go home. And guess what? I see some fucking rednecky looking guy pushing the hand carts. Yeah. And he's pushing a a lawnmower. One of those ones that you sit on. Yeah. And all of a sudden you just saw a receipt fly up in the air. It was like God. <laughs> it was like fucking heavenly justice. It just flew out from under the thing. I thought the guy was going to see it. I thought the guy that bought it was going to see it. Nobody saw nothing. I thought the lady, because all those white people in Boulder, you know, you litter. They'll fucking have a cow. Pick that up, please. There was a couple women. Nobody said nothing. It was my lottery ticket. And I went over and I picked it up. Ooh, tremendous. I love it. Throw some to Lee. Lee wants some. Give some kosher to Lee. There you go. <laughs> so I 
go over. I picked this fucking receipt up. Guess how much it was for? I don't know. I have any idea. Four hundred fucking dollars mm. for my rent. It was perfect. It was four hundred and something dollars. I'm like, I made fucking rent. But when I go into Kmart, they're sold out of those low mowers. <laughs> I'm like, fucking bitch. You think that stopped me? Fuck no. I got in that car and did 90 to Longmont. There was another Kmart in Longmont. No internet, no nothing. I just knew there was one in Longmont. I went all the way to Longmont, got there 20 minutes later, walked in, walked into the you know the garden department where yeah. they have all the trees, and there was three of them. I had like $3 in my pocket. I got one of the guys to go, come here for a second. Load that up. Throw me, please. Here's $3. In those days, $3 was like a 10. Yeah. The guy picked up the lawnmower like Hercules, put it on, and he goes, do you want to pay for this? And I go, yeah, push it over to the thing. He actually pushed up to the counter. I gave the lady the receipt in front of him. He's like looking at me like, oh. <laughs> And the lady gives me back 400 plus tax. She gives me like 440. I'm like, what? Gives him a 20. What? I got lunch and I got my rent money. <laughs> That's how deep and dirty I was. Yeah. Like I was just chasing receipts. Some people are ambulance chasers. I would just sit there and chase receipts.